Hello and welcome back, people of the Imperium. This is Rock, Brother Rock, you all here. Bringing you another short little video. Well, another part on how right now he's unprimed. Sorry that it is so dark in here. I literally... Have all the lights on and it doesn't make a difference. But as you guys can see, that is one of our gene stealers that we're going to be painting up, that we're going to be actually base coating right now. You're pretty well almost in my spray booth right now it is a very easy style in a room that's not even used at all it's only used for Ooh. Sorry, just saw something new. But here you always want to take off any jewelry you have. I usually wear my Apple Watch. Or I'm pretty well always wearing a hoodie. You don't want to wear that stuff. Because you're working with spray paint. As you can see here, I have Chaos Black spray paint. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on one of my gloves that I have. And I pretty well only use for spray painting. If you guys can see. Now while I shake it up here, I will basically explain what I'm going to be doing. Basically I'm going to use short, quick short bursts, just moving from side to side. And that will give you the best coat, usually about and the can actually has instructions and it says to stay about 20 to 40 centimeters away. So approximately my arm's length away. And it says to shake it up for two minutes. Just past one minute. Great way to get a little bit of an arm workout. And then it says to let it sit for 15 minutes. That's the drying time on this one. Just a couple more seconds here. And yes, I am wearing, going to be wearing one of these when I'm doing it. Just because I do not want to be breathing and all that stuff, so. I probably just got a little bit muted for you guys. But that's because I just put on my mask. Because I'm about to paint. Now you can get Chaos Black. In uh, 
normal pot, but goes on smoother and easier with just a little spray paint. <laughs> That's literally all you have to do. Now I will go ahead and do the rest of them here really quickly. And then I'll bring you guys back after the 15 minutes. Okay, so I've just finished priming. Now I'm gonna get my USB found on. And we're gonna wait 15 minutes. So, I am back now with our gene stealers here. So, the colors that you will need to do most of this, let me just move them off to the side here for a moment. Because I didn't do a very good job on spray painting them. So you can always get a Citadel Chaos ba Black Pot. They're handy for a lot of things. So we'll need Rakoth. Rakarth Earth. Rakarth Flesh. We'll need Screaming Skull. Coralberg Crimson Shade Paladin Witch Flesh and Agrox Earth Shade. So, as you saw, we have primed all of them with our Chaos Black. Now, I did pick up one of these. This is one of the Citadel handles so let me choose one here for a moment there we go so first off we'll take the Rekar earth shade and I have my palette here right beside me So what I'm going to do, shake it up really well. And I mean really well. Now this is the exact same way that they did it on the Gundam TV. I'm just going to take a bit. Put it into my palette here. And remember that it's always better to put on multiple thin coats than one thick coat. And we're just going to start working it in everywhere. So I'm going to be doing this for a little bit here. And I'll bring you guys back once we get the finished product. Okay, so as you can see here, this is after two thin coats of... 
rock our earth rock our flesh so as you can tell I have not been very clean with it but this is only the basically work with the biggest amount of area that you have to the smallest in these guys' case it's going to be the skin and then everything else because these guys don't have much else um, just need to triple check about one thing here just hang on a minute okay so the next color that we are going to be using is the screaming skull now we are going to be applying it in the exact same way now you may be wondering why we even did the Rackarth Flash. It's because it is a base paint, which means that it's thicker and has a stronger color compared to the Screaming Skull, which is a layer which is a layer paint. So it has a very thin, it's a lot thinner. So what we will do is we will get started on this by getting someone some I'm going to shake it up first really well shake it up just shake it up okay Now I'm going to put some into my palette here. Making sure this is completely closed. And we're just going to start applying it. And you will probably need two thin coats. So I will be back once I get everyone's two thin coats done. Alright, so as you guys can see, I have finished that part. Now is the fun part. where we will use a shade now because we want to be we want to be precise we're replacing it let me grab my brush that I'm looking do I actually have two of these brushes I do have two of these brushes. By the way, I have the weirdest paintbrush. It has one end and two ends. So you're literally painting with one end. Go into another paint, do this end, do this, do this, do this. Now because I'm going to be doing a little bit of the shade, I'm going to grab my large shade brush here. And I'm going to shake this one up a bit. I'm literally going to just Brush, grab a whole bunch of it. Okay. 
There we go. Remember to close all your paints fully. Let me just clean this one off. Hopefully my other paint stuff will fix that, but anyways, what I'm literally going to do right now is grab my small shade brush. Is this guy you guys can see? Yes. Well, my small layer brush, but it works just fine. All I'm going to do is just go in and paint around all these areas here. And then I'm also going to paint all the vents as well. So that's what we're going to do, and also we're going to paint where he's opening his mouth up really wide and the tongue. So I'm going to do that to all of them, and then I will bring you guys back. See you in a second. And one quick note try and be as clean as you can here but we're if you once we're done this step we're going to clean up with the screaming skull again so don't have to be extremely clean but still be clean at the same time so I'll bring you guys back once and also get the joints I forgot to mention that we want to Paint this color in the joints. So I'll be back once I'm finished. Okay, so now that I have gone around with this shade here, as you can see, some of them are looking pretty dirty. But we're almost there with a lot of them. So let me. So basically, all that we will be doing, I'm actually going to tell you which brush I'm going to be using, is the Citadel Small Layer Brush. Just because I had some of the soap on it. Let's see? It's still a really fine point. Grab one of my palettes. Shake up the paint. Grab a little bit of the paint and put it into my paint. Into my 
palette here. Just before it decides to get into the barrel. Actually, why am I even using a paintbrush for that? I have a better tool for that job. Let me find one. My pointy sticks. Sorry about that, I had a little bit of a camera malfunction, but I'm going to use one of my paint gathering tools here. Put a good drop onto the palette. Close it up fully. Rinse off my tool there, or clean it off, and then only because I have it, I have a bit of acrylic thinner, but I'm not gonna add much. Like I'm gonna only only add like half a drop once I find a script here. I should really stop reach over, reaching over there, but I'm only going to add the half a drop. Probably not even that. And then either you can use the other end of a paint gatherer or the other end of your brush. Just mix in a little bit of thinner. And then even on Warhammer TV, they said to add a little bit of water. Which, seems though I have the thinner, I might as well use the thinner. So, pretty well all I'm going to be doing is going around and just cleaning up the areas that I've gone over. see just like that or just like that there so now I've got the very long task of doing that so I'll bring you guys back once I'm done that as well Okay, so as you can see, I have cleaned them all up. Now we just got to do our edge highlight, which we're going to do with Pallid Witch Flesh. Make sure you give it a shake. And 
then I am just using my finest tip paintbrush that I have just because I'm going to use so little of it I'm not going to worry about thinning it down because I'm literally just have the very tip All that I'm going to do is just go along the and get the highest points with this. And I will be back once I am finished here. I'm basically going. Probably really hard for you guys to s It's hard for me to really show you guys, but I'm just... There we go. I'm basically just... Doing an edge highlight on these. Then there's some parts on the face I want to do, but I want to wait till I have less paint. I'm going to do this to all of them and then I'll bring you guys back for doing the teeth and very small details. So be back in a moment. Okay, so we I have done the <coughs> highlight. Pretty hard to tell on some of them. So all that is left. Well, there's a few more things left. I'm going to add on another layer of this onto the tongues. And uh, this one. I'm just going to use a Model Master 3 Aught brush to do that. Literally just going over the tongues one more time. Just to make sure that this color is nice and dark on them. Just like that. On this guy too. Now this guy actually shaded it a little bit. So... That's literally all that I'm going to do for the next two minutes here. And then we will work on the claws next. See how quick and simple this is?
There we go. Those are all done now. So this is where a little bit of the customization comes in. For the carapace, I will be using, and claws and stuff, I will be using a base coat of olive drab. Follow that up with some doom ball brown. And then some Avaland sunset. Then after that, we're going to do all the teeth. One final shade and then the blood for the blood gods. So, let me show you guys what I like to do. Because this is a uh, testers. Oh, no, not testers, Tiananmen, sorry. Let's see if we can get it. There we go. Get it open. That's always the first step is to get it, whatever paint you're do, working with, open. clean enough so as you can see it's not really mixed up all that well so I'm going to take my stirring stick and stir it all up and this is an older paint as well so Grab some out, put it into my palette here. And then all that I do, or all that I will do, let me just show you guys on purpose here right, so you guys can see this guy right here bring down one of my lights a little bit more all that I'm going to do is just start going over all the claws, all this carapace, and all that stuff, giving it a nice coat or two. Most likely, you will need two coats, but this is the time where you want to be clean. You don't want to be going all over the skin and all that stuff. 
because this is such a dark color that you'd have to completely restart the skin. So all that I'm going to do is continue on with this and I'll bring you guys back once I have completely finished. Okay, so as you can see, I have done all of them. with my doom ball brown now I'm going to grab my Everland sunset pretty well do the exact same thing only we don't want to cover up all the doom ball brown just some of it Once I get this paint mixed up, I will show you guys. Okay. So this is a base paint, so it goes on thicker. So then we get this kind of look. Now on these siding talons, what I'm also going to do is just edge highlight the edges, the very edge. Just by using the side of my paintbrush, be able to get a very fine line. Just like that there. And then on these ones, I'm probably just going to put a dot of it on each one. Kind of like that. So let me do the whole lot of them. And then I'll bring you guys back for the last three colors no four four colors so I'll be back in a minute again okay so we only have three more colors in the three colors in one shade left you can see they're looking very good. <clears throat> so, let me think here. All right, let's do their tongues first. Yes. So, we will need.
Emperor's Children, or you could also use Screaming Pink as a kind of highlight for their tongue kind of deal. But because these last three colors are so easy, I'm going to do them all live. <clears throat> Don't need Chaos Black. So we'll need Screaming Pink, Empress Children, something tongue colored. We will need our Rackarth Earth Shade, our Rackarth Flesh Shade color again for the teeth. Then we're going to follow that up with Agrax Earth Shade. <clears throat> and finally, blood for the blood gods. One of my favorites. <laughs> favorite, favorite paint. Even though it's a technical paint, it is a paint. So immediately we can already emit him from the last from this stuff. So I'm just going to put him off to the side. <clears throat> now because I want to do something a little bit different with this guy, I'm going to start out with him first. So I'm going to grab my, in my case, Emperor's Children. I do have Screaming Pink as well, but just to keep everything the same, I use Screaming Pink on my Broodlord here. So, <clears throat> and as I always say, I have something going in the background. Right now I have music and going through headphones. Now the only reason why I will use my palette right now is to basically get a point on my brush. That's about it. So I dip my brush in. See here I have a tip. Now this is something different. I'm going to go against the norm. Try and that looks. Okay, that looks a little bit less dreadful. Sorry you guys can't really see this right now, but But I am trying to go against the norm Like that there. As you can see, I did very little, but it did make a little bit of a difference, which is good. 
Let's go ahead and grab some more. Grab the next one. Now we're not even going to bother with the bottom. See? Just basically going to take my brush. Grab a little bit more paint here, but I'm just going over the top part. There you guys go. Just so you guys can see a little bit better. This is the one problem with having so little paint on your brush. Dries out real quick. Now the reason why I'm doing it this way instead of the teeth and then this color is because this color is a very light color compared to the other color which is a very dark color so the dark color can cover up light stuff easier than the light color can cover up darkness just like that that's done all of them have nice pink tongues and looking really neat. Just going to clean off my brush. Oh, sorry about that cut there. I had to shake up my paint and do a couple other little things. So basically all I'm going to do, take a little bit of this color and run the, my paintbrush along their teeth. That's it. Oh, I have wet fingers. That's one thing that you have to be really careful with about these paints is that they're water based. Hopefully you guys can see me way back. But literally, all I'm doing is taking a little bit of paint. Just going over the teeth. That's all I'm doing.
You guys probably can't see this, but... Two more, and then you can probably guess what I'm wanted next. Or what we are going to do next. The very last one. Okay. Make sure that's nice and closed properly. Okay. Now we're going to go over the teeth. I repeat, we're going to go over the teeth with the Agrox Earthshade. And oh, brand new pot of paint.
Basically, all I'm doing is just barely touching the end of my paintbrush. to it and it is making a great effect Kind of see there. This is what it looks like before. And that's after. Let me just grab a light. So before, after. And you guys choose whatever heads you want, or if you want all the yours to have like the scything talons or the rending claws, go ahead. What I do is not, it's only what I have chosen to do. Or you can do like I have done and do half and half. Last one. There we go. Now, at this point, you could paint the bases as you would normally do for all of your, uh, to match all of your army, or you can continue on to this next step, which is Blood for the Blood Gods. Oh, it's a beautiful color. <laughs> yeah. It it works so well. And don't be afraid to use a larger brush for this one. Because it will make it look so good. You almost want to just grab a blob of it. And leave it thick. So 
So we get this kind of great effect. And don't be too careful. But seriously, I'm just grabbing a dollop of it. As you can see, and I'm going to put that, that paintbrush down for a second and grab my smaller one. Don't forget about the eyes. The eyes for me is what takes it from anything you or I could see. To this kind of demonish kind of creature. As you can see, that's just me putting a dollop on the eye and rubbing it a little bit with my thumb. See, I'm going to put a dollop. Use my thumb. Oh, he's going to be a really good one to show you guys with. Tall upon the eye. Rub.
Dollop on the eye. And rub. And it does make him look like he's like crying blood or blood stained tears are coming out of him. It Well, I was gonna leave it a little bit on it and it looks like he's been shot or <laughs> we had a little fun with this meal. So yeah, I'm just going to continue on with Blood for the Blood Gods, and then I'm going to paint up the bases like I have before, so I will do a showcase of them, and then it will be time to sign off, so see you in a minute. I have just finished the bases are still drying a little bit. But as you can see they all turned out Great. Is that drop him? And that almost scraping off of the blood. Of that blood for the blood gods have really given us a really nice look on it. It looks like a blood is just dr almost dripping off of him. Especially with this guy. But if you go onto my Instagram, you will see a couple other photos. This is part of my check on. Then I need to figure out how I'm going to do some of this too. Yeah. That's right, I'm already getting into magnets. Or three of the last ones that I want to do have magnets as magnets in them. But I've got to get back to my perfect grade. Because it's sitting here with its just in its, ex in its inner frame looking very sad. 
So I need to work on it. And then I will be working, coming back to Warhammer for after a couple, do another couple crits. So if you are new to this Imperium, hit that subscribe button. I don't know which one I'm going to do next. I have the Trigon, I have Termagons, I have Primaris Intercept. Ancestors, I have Terminators, I have Flying Hive, Hive Tyrants, I have, uh, what did you, Tran Effects, so, yeah, I have a lot to do with Warhammer. And I still got a ton of kits to do. Uh, holy cow, I have a ton of kits. I have a, kits all around me that I need to work on. So, as I say, if you're new to, new to this Imperium, hit that subscribe button. If you're looking forward to more Warhammer or more <clears throat> Gundam or whatever, more painting stuff, like... These guys turned out great. I'm really happy with them. I'm sure they're not... They're not perfect. But nothing ever is perfect. That's one thing... That I heard someone say once is... A sign of a good artist... Is that... Mm, their work isn't perfect to them. Even though to a lot of other people's eyes, like these guys look amazing, but to me, they're not perfect, which means that I have, have stuff to work on for next time, which is always a good thing. So, again, I'd like to thank everyone for watching, and until next time, remember to rock on.